Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. In the previous tutorial we looked at manually adjusting Eclipse audio level so that it peaked at a certain level on the audio meter. This is a very common requirement for particularly for things like dialogue where you have a number of different clips that have potentially been recorded at different audio levels and you want to get them all peaking at the same level. The process of doing this is usually referred to as normalisation or normalising audio levels. The problem with doing this manually is it's quite slow. Uh, you have to check each clip individually, see where they're peaking on the audio meter and then make the necessarily manual adjustment using the rubber band on the clip so that the clip then peaks at the level that you want. So in Premiere there's actually a, a very quick automated way of achieving the same ends over a sequence of clips. I have a sequence of clips here on the timeline ready to go. At the moment they're all peaking at different levels as you can see on the audio waveform between the clip. Some are peaking at a higher level than others. So for example, the clip I've just played there peaked up at around minus five and a half decibels. Uh, if I pick maybe this clip here, this one is peaking at around minus four, 13 and a half, 14 decibels. And what I would like to do is to get all of these clips peaking on my meter at minus 12 decibels. So what we're going to do is have a look at the Normalize Audio Gain feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. To apply this over multiple clips, first of all, you need to select the clips. So I'm just going to select them like so. And then either do a right click on the clips and choose Audio Gain from the contextual menu. Or select the clips, go to the clip menu and choose Audio Options, Audio Gain. Once you've selected this option, it opens up an audio gain window of which there are four options. I'm going to explain set gain to and adjust gain by shortly. The one that I'm really interested in here is normalize all peaks to. Now this allows you over a number of clips to set a peak level for each clip based on a level on the audio meter itself. So I want all my clips to peak at minus 12 decibels. I click on normalize all peaks to, I click in the number field there and I type in minus 12. I type in the actual level that I would like those clips to peak out on my audio meter. When I click OK, so that the maximum peak level for each clip should hit minus 12 decibels. However, because my clips are a single mono channel, there can sometimes be a discrepancy here, in which case there is another part of this process just to tweak the level that they all peak at again. So I'm going to click OK. You will see a change in the audio waveform here. You won't see the rubber band change. That stays still set at its original settings. What you will see is the audio waveform within the clips adjust themselves. Some will go up, some will go down. If we have a look at that maximum level, you can see on the audio waveform itself, they all appear to be of a very, very similar maximum peak level now. If I play through one of the clips and have a look at the meter, let's just reset the meter by clicking on it. So here's the maximum peak level for the first one minus 12, let's reset that, let's have a look at this one, again minus 12. Keeping all my clips selected, what I'm going to do next is do another right click and choose audio gain. This will reopen up the audio gain window and this time I'm going to pick this option, adjust gain by. So what adjust gain by will do is for all the selected clips allow me to further adjust the audio level by a specific amount. Now all my clips are now consistent, but they're consistently three decibels quieter than I would like them to be. So I'm going to click in adjust gain by and set in an amount of three decibels. And for each clip now that will increase the audio level by a further three decibels. It does not affect the rubber bands. That's still there and zeroed at the moment, so I can make further adjustments to individual clips using the rubber band if I want to. But most importantly, it's affected again the audio waveform within the clip and it's increased everything by three decibels. I'm just going to mention one last option, and that is set gain two. The difference between adjust gain by and set gain two. Adjust gain by adjusts each audio clip by 
a specific amount in addition to any adjustments that have already been made. So if I go in and look at an individual clip for a second, at the moment on this one, set gain two is set to 0.5. This is showing me the overall change to this clip that has been made by first of all applying the normalize all peaks to adjustment and then the adjust gain by extra three decibels. So the overall change there is 0.5 decibels. Set gain two is useful in two ways. One, it will allow you to see what the overall change has been to a clip when you've been using the audio gain window. Secondly though, it also allows you to adjust the level of a clip to a specific level based on the amount of decibels you want to change the clip by. If I choose adjust gain by, and type in five decibels, that's gonna further increase the overall change of this clip by five decibels. So you can see set gain two now says 5.5 decibels. If I decrease it by nine decibels, now set gain two is saying minus 8.5 decibels, because again, it's taken into account the overall changes that I've been making. It might be though that I want to get away from adding additional changes each time to the clip and just set one specific overall change. So let's say I decided that from the original level of the clip, I wanted the clip to be five decibels over its original level. In which case, I could either try and work out that again, the difference, I could go, okay, well look, the overall change here is 8.5 decibels. I want my overall adjustment to say have been five decibels. So I would now need to bring that change down by three and a half decibels that would bring the overall change down to five or alternatively if i just reset that i could choose set gain two and just type in five decibels so set gain two is effectively zeroing the change and then allowing you to type in what you want your overall change to be rather than having to work out what the change already is and then add or subtract from that overall change that's been created Another really good use of set gain too is if you've been using any of the audio gain options, it's a really easy way of actually resetting the audio on this or multiple clips. If I go in and set set gain two to zero decibels, that will negate any change that I've made and bring the audio level of that clip back to its original level. This is indicated by the color of the little FX button here. If the little FX button is uh, yellow, it means that a uh, change has been made to the audio levels of that clip. If it's gray, it means the change has been taken off. So to zero all my clips again, if I just zoom out, select all the clips, right click, audio gain, and just choose set gain to zero decibels, click OK. That would then reset all of my clips back to their original audio level.